Hey guys, welcome back. Now today, we're going to be heading back to my good friends over at Species Canada, and we're going to be talking about one particular animal today. This animal comes from an area, it's, it comes from a land it seems that time is completely forgotten about. True giant of the forest. So, I hope you'll join me. You're as fascinated as I am by the sheer incredible diversity of life that surrounds us, then you belong here with me. I'll make videos on all facets of nature, from aquariums and vivariums, reptiles, isopods, insects and arachnids, unique plants, and all sorts of DIY projects. I try to dig a little bit deeper into the science behind it all. So if you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button as well as ringing that notification bell and you'll always be kept up to date when I upload new content. Now the landing question today is undoubtedly Madagascar. This completely isolated island off the coast of Eastern Africa is truly a land lost in time. And for the past 70 plus million years, the flora and fauna have evolved at its own pace. The endemic species found here cannot be found anywhere else in the world. Despite man's seemingly hell-bent destruction, of the natural world, Madagascar still boasts an incredible diverse assemblage of species, very unique and diverse. Habitat loss through the de rapid deforestation and the ever-increasing expanding of palm oil palm plantations have been a absolute primary contributors to the decrease in biodiversity here. Madagascar is a global ecotourism eco destination, so thankfully there's a glimmer of hope for some of the species as the country has established more than 50 large parcels of land and primary forests as national parks and protected ecological reserves. However, the constant threat and pressures from man continue to erode at the biodiversity. The incredible diversity of species that call this island home, roughly there's 200 species of mammals, most of which the lemurs are undoubtedly the, probably the most recognized members. 300 species of birds, yeah, don't need to worry about them, and at least 260 known species of reptiles, of which one member is the topic of today's video. Now for reptiles, Madagascar is home to snakes, turtles, tortoises, crocodiles, but it has an incredible diversity of extremely specialized lizards. Now most would undoubtedly be familiar with at least one of the many species of chameleons that are found here with such unique adaptive behaviors, such as their ability to change the pigments in their skin to rapidly blend in with their surroundings, or maybe even more their cartilaginous structure that enables their tongues to stretch to such incredible lengths when they're hunting for food. However, today's topic is not about them. It's actually about a unique gecko. Not, no, not the one that you're thinking of. It's definitely not the one trying to sell you guys card tricks. That's not the one. It's a member of the gecko family that I've had many, many years of experience working with, and I still find them extremely interesting to this day. These are all members of the family Europlatus, or more commonly known as the leaf-tailed geckos. These geckos are the true masters of camouflage. Now, from the little diminutive Fantasticus, it's a species where we've been full grown, it might only max out at about four inches of size, all the way up to the giants, the true giants of the forest which I know is Fimbriatus, and even more so, the contestant for today, Europlatus giganteus. Now back when I was keeping and breeding members of this genus, I kept two species primarily. I kept Fimbriatus and I kept Lineatus. Now if you had a, a gecko of Lineatus in front of you sitting on a piece of bamboo, it would basically be invisible. They were wonderful, fascinating, fascinating animals to keep. Now Giganteus is a somewhat newer species. We'll talk about it further as we get into it. Uh, and it's readily distinguishable from the from Fimbriatus. Now they look almost identical in all regards otherwise. Giganteus may get a little bit bigger, they're saying, but uh, it's really easily distinguishable by their eye color. Now in Fimbriatus, the iris of the eye is actually yellow, and then it has all the veinations, uh, versus in Giganteus, it's usually white to a light cream in color. So very easy to tell them apart. This outstanding captive bred pair of Europlatus Giganteus came all the way from a European import from a well-known breeder. This nocturnal giant in the wild lurks and hunts in the darkness of the pristine and intact wet rainforests of the Amber Mountains 
and Mero Jeje National Parks in North and Northeastern Madagascar. Thankfully, this refuge is protected as this species, as well as all members of its genera, cannot survive in altered forest or human populated areas. So you see the cage or the enclosure that Cheyenne and Ivan have built for this beautiful pair. This is the female, the male's already gone in. It mimics as closely as possible and meets all the needs of these animals. Very nature, nature influenced. It's got the leaf litter. Beautiful, beautiful setup enclosure, as most of almost all their enclosures are set up. Now, as mentioned, this is a newer species, having been described originally back in 2006. However, was it was disputed, and it wasn't elevated to true species status until a revision took place in 2013. All members of the Europlatus are the true masters of camouflage. And the genus mimics, as you can see by their cryptic colorations, not one is the same as the other. And it mimics the bark and leaves resembling that they would find in their native ranges. These exceptional nocturnal hunters will readily devour most insect prey, both in the wild and in captivity. To maintain health in captivity, very high quality vitamins and calcium sourcing should be offered via dusted prey. You'll notice on the underside of their throat, in, in several pictures here, you'll notice that they have healthy calcium sacs. And that is a sign that it's being absorbed and stored at a very good rate. They will appear as like two large balls underneath their throat. All members of the genus Europlatus are critically endangered and captive breeding efforts may sadly be their only hope for long-term survival. They're generally solitary by nature, but this pair has been raised together. They generally only breed once a year during the rainy season. Males and females are easily distinguished as the males develop, when sexually mature, large and very pronounced hemipenal bulges. The offspring from their eggs would hatch out a few weeks after laying and become fully independent immediately thereafter. No care is given by the parents whatsoever. So after all their careful planning, building this well-researched and beautiful vivarium, this beautiful pair has made it the long journey all the way from Europe to Canada. And I'm truly thankful to have been included on the day that they arrived. They're absolutely majestic. There you can see the calcium sacs stored. Several of the members of the Europlatus genus, they're called the leaf-tailed lizards, as you can see very obviously why. Some of them even go to great lengths that they have little sections missing out of their tails or little holes in their tails to look like a leaf that is actually breaking down. All absolute masters of camouflage. Barely see it there. Right against the log, the female. Look at that patterning on her shoulders and her back. It almost looks like it appears like lichen. You can see how they can just blend into anything. And when they close those very, very large eyes during the day, they just disappear. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video as we talked about a unique and fascinating species of reptile from the land of Madagascar. It truly is a land lost in time and it really needs our help. It needs our efforts and we need to be aware of what's happening in our, on our planet before it's all gone. Now, if you guys do appreciate it, give me a thumbs up, like the video, share the video. If you're interested in becoming a, a member of my channel, you can check out the memberships. I'd love to have you. So as always, my friends, stay safe. We'll see you next time.